Hello everyone, now uh, welcome back. So in this video, we'll be talking about AWS CloudTrail and we'll be creating a stream bucket and do some API calls there. So we'll be uploading few, you know, uh, documents as well as videos. And in the end, uh, we'll be seeing the logs that has been recorded. So that is the main agenda for this video. So let's go ahead and start. So this is the CloudTrail console. So if you go to the services uh, to access particular dashboard, go to the services and here, uh, under management and governance, click that. So there you go. This is where you can uh, click the cloud trail. So which tracks user activity and API usage. So click that. So coming to the definition of AWS cloud trail, it's a service that logs and monitors AWS uh, account activity. So it records API calls and you know related events, providing a history of actions taken by the users, roles, and AWS services. So this helps with security and compliance and troubleshooting by offering uh, detailed insights into changes and interaction with AWS environment. So that is the definition according to the docs. So let's go ahead and create a cloud trail. So after clicking, after uh, you know, uh, getting into this dashboard, let us go ahead and uh, create a cloud trail. Let me delete this one. So this is the previous one that I have uh, created. So I'll be showing you the process how to create this. So let's uh, create the trail. And here, let's give the name. So keep the name that defines the purpose of the trail. So in this case, uh, it's just a sample. So I'm just using as a sample MRT, let's say three. And coming to the next one, uh, this will be enabled when you have accounts configured in organizations so since we don't have it uh it's disabled for now and we have two options here storage location so first one is you can create a new s3 bucket or you can use the ex uh, existing s3 bucket so if you have an existing you can just uh click the existing bucket browse and select the relevant one so this was the one which uh was created recently so if you want you can just select this and choose and that is where it's done if you don't have any, you can just click create a S3 bucket and you know give it a personal last name. In this case, I'll just give it smart T. And that's everything that you have to do, right? So the other one is uh, if you just to show you, uh, let me go ahead and uh, show you the creation of the bucket. So this is the bucket that we have created. So if you want to create a bucket, you can just create uh, the bucket. Uh, keep the name and make sure that you know it should be globally unique. So you can just give it a smarty bucket one. So I'm just using my initials uh, here so that it will be unique and you can just leave everything as default and create it. For example, if you just remove right now, you're blocking all the public access. So if you remove this, you have to acknowledge and have to create the bucket so that's everything you have to do uh, to create a bucket so i'm not creating uh, it right now so whenever uh, you the creation you can go to the cloud trails and you can see those buckets here so in this case let's go ahead and create a s3 bucket so coming to log file ssc kms encryption so when you configure a cloud trail it creates a log files that records api activity and related events in your aws account so SSC KMS encryption allows you to encrypt these log files at a server side using the AWS key management service. So this provides an additional layer of security for sensitive information uh, contained in your uh, cloud trail logs. So that is where uh, we are enabling it and make sure that KMS key and S3 bucket must have in the same region. So coming to the next one, you have log uh, file validation. So basically log file validation in AWS CloudTrail is a feature that uh, helps you to ensure the integrity of your uh, CloudTrail log files. So when log uh, file validation is enabled, CloudTrail uh, signs each log file using a digital signature. So this signature allows you to verify that the log file hasn't been tampered with or modified since it was created. So that is where we are using uh, log file creation so make sure it's enabled and just everything, uh, let's do it as default uh, according to the documentation. So everything is default. If you want to have tax, you can have tax. But in this case, uh, I'm just leaving it as default. So go to the next. And here we have different types, event types, right? Management events, data events, and inside events. So we have already discussed about these events in our Instagram as well as Medium channel. So if I go back here, uh, you can see we have already uh, uh, discussed about cloud trail events so this is a uh, short description about uh, 
the management events or uh, the examples of them and data events as well as insight events. So you can do check them out. And if you want more information, you can also check my Medium uh, channel. I'll be keeping that in the description for your reference. So let me go back here. So in this case, let's add it as management event. So it captures uh, and manage, uh, you know, management operations performed on your AWS resources. So coming to data events, it locks the resource operations performed or within the resource. Coming to insights, uh, events, identify unusual activity errors and user behavior in your account. So which we'll be discussing more in the further videos. For now, let's select the management events and API activity, read and write. For example, if you select this, we'll be having other columns as well. So based on that, you can, you know, uh, uh, do the actions. But in this case, let's make it simple and go next. So that's everything. You have to just create it, it will be done. So that is how you can create uh, the cloud uh, trail logs and your uh, S3 bucket will be created. If I go back here to the cloud trail, so the, uh, let me click the cloud trail. Yeah. So this is the one that has been uh, created before. It's the same operations that I have done. And uh, you can click here. You can see trail uh, locations. You can go here and you can see all the location, uh, you know, all the actions that has been performed. So basically, if you talk about uh, uh, buckets, I have uploaded two documents and perform like, you know, a uh, basic operation. So this is the one video that I've uploaded and this is one uh, uh, PNG file that has uploaded. So we're just trying to do some changes here and I got some errors and you know, a few other operations. So everything will be locked, right? So you can go here. Where is it? Click that. Trail, go here, here, here. You can see the relevant files here. So basically these are in JSON format. Uh, you can just decrypt it and uh, read the actions. So basically you can, you know, for example, let's say I have uh, created a file or uh, uploaded a file or deleted a file. All the actions can be uh, recorded in these uh, logs. So I just downloaded it. So just I'll, uh, you can see. These are the files. So you can do your analysis and uh, work on them, like what uh, actions have been performed and so on. So we'll be uh, learning more about uh, this in the further videos. So uh, for this video, I hope you guys have understood the concept of today's video. If you have liked the video, please click the like button below. And if you don't subscribe to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel and please share the video. Thanks everyone.